how to set up your Samsung Galaxy S4 as a remote control for the air conditioner so you know how the um, Samsung Galaxy S4 already have a remote control for the TV and DVD with a recent uh, software update you can now uh, use it as a remote control to the air conditioner um, a few months back a few months back I was um, looking for a way to um, control the air conditioner and there's just no option on the on the software but now when I look back on my uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 there is an option to um, to use as a remote control to control your air conditioner now uh, before you can do that make sure that you have update your software to the latest version um, you can always um, update your watch on software through the software update once you have done that simply uh, Go to watch on. So we start from the beginning. First, press on the home key to go back to your home screen. Then tap on uh, apps at the bottom here, and tap on watch on to launch the watch on uh, app. Now make sure that you have already set up your TV as a remote control because um, that's one of the requirements. So once you have um, set up the t uh, the TV as a remote control, you can then add an additional remote control. So from here. From this screen, tap on the menu key at the bottom and tap on uh, add device. And here you can see under my device tab uh, pop up, I can choose air conditioner. So tap on air conditioner. Then it will show the top brands is uh, Samsung and Blue Start. And you know that's not true because um, there are other better brands. So tap on the show other brands. Now the brands that I use here is uh, Mitsubishi. There's other um, famous brand like Fujitsu as well. So you can, if you use a uh, Fujitsu, you can uh, choose uh, uh, Fujitsu. I'm just gonna scroll down to uh, my brand. So select your brand. So I'm just gonna scroll down. It's quite a long list here. So Mitsubishi I got here. So I'm gonna choose that. Then just tap on the power button. And then just make sure you point your device to the air conditioner over here. And then I'm just going to point to that and then tap on send this code again if it doesn't work the first time around. So I didn't get any signal on my aircon, so I'm going to try with no test. Next code number two. So on my, you can hear a beep on my aircon, so it turns on. So now it works. So once it works, you can always uh, say send this card to again if it doesn't work. So you can see a beep. If, it, if you see a beep, then it really works. So when it works, just tap on yes, this card to works. And then tap on done. So now we have successfully um, used the, um, set up the um, phone for the remote control to the aircon. So now I'm going to switch to my air conditioner remote control. It does it work? But um, so the with on the remote control here. So when I tap on this interface, there's not much um, functions. So I'm tapping on air conditioners, but there's no uh, functions down here. So this could be a, or if I slide down, okay, if you slide down this um, panel here, so this panel here allows you to choose between the different uh, remote control, such as the TV, Blu-ray, or air conditioner. Once you tap on that, you can uh, tap on the down arrow and this will slide down and here you can control the fan speed and temperature so it has a very basic function just controlling the temperature and fan speed and most of the time that's all we need to uh, uh, control the temperature then uh, changing the fan speed so we can slow it down or increase the fan speed and of course if I tap on the power button you can see the fan will turn off so if we look on the aircon right now and I'm going to tap on the power button 
and that basically turns off the aircon. So thank you for watching this video. My name is David Vo. Please uh, subscribe to my channels at itjungles.com. Thank you for watching.